This is a fan-generated show. If you would like to support us, please go to jamieglazov.com and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All your support is greatly appreciated. Hello and welcome to my moment on Glazov Gang. This is Mark Christian and this uh, program is brought to you by Glazov Gang. Today I want to discuss the LGBT and how is that relate to the Islamic teachings and Sharia law. Since the attacks in Orlando, there is lots of discussion going on about the LGBT community and how is that treated according to Islamic Sharia law. According to Islam, according to Christianity, according to Judaism, all of those three religions, homosexuality is a sin. But the biggest problem and the biggest difference between the three ideology and how the LGBT is treated lies in how the ideology it itself teaches how they are supposed to be treated. All religions consider homosexuality a sin, but Islam look at homosexuality and is in the second level and every homosexual is supposed to be killed. According to Judeo-Christian uh, ideology, Jesus died on the cross for the sin of everyone, especially those who commit the acts of homosexuality as well. And according to Jesus' teachings, whoever accepts him uh, is welcomed in his kingdom, even homosexuals. And also, uh, for us as Christians, the only thing that we can do to homosexuals is to serve and to pray for them, not to try to harm anybody. On the other side, Islam looks at homosexuality in a completely different way. According to homosexuality, there's different kind of uh, treatment under Sharia law that is being taught uh, by Sharia law. Number one, for homosexuals, according to Muhammad, says that homosexuals are supposed to be killed and hearing men doing the action of homosexuality. And even, as he said, even if the person is being raped by a homosexual, even the person who has been raped is supposed to be killed uh, under Sharia law. For lesbians, it is looked at in a different perspective and Islamic teachings kind of divided on how they are supposed to be treated. And the uh, uh, lesbians is supposed to be treated as if they are committing an act of adultery, which is stoning. And then talking about transgender and anything else is looked at as a big sin from different perspectives. Number one, Islam looks at transgender, those people who changed how God created them. And that is a huge big sin because this is offensive to Allah himself, according to Islam. Also, when they are transgender and then they do the act of homosexuality, they are committing a double sin. And they're supposed to be treated in a more harsh way. So the discussion according to Islam is not if uh, we should bake a cake or should we accept their marriage or not. It is supposed to be killed. And we have to look at that when we are dealing with the Orlando shooter and the Orlando horrific action uh, against the homosexual uh, community and at the border that day. Why we have to look at that? Because the discussion has been going on since that heinous act, as if it is an act of somebody kind of out of uh, no relationship to the Islamic teachings whatsoever. And it is all about um, violence and using of guns and so forth. If you look at the Middle East, for example, in every Muslim country, uh, most of those countries there is a very strict laws against guns, yet homosexuals are treated in a very, very harsh ways. As a matter of fact, Islam does not only teach that homosexuals are supposed to be killed, but also they are supposed to be killed in a most uh, painful way possible. The discussion among Muslims and Muslim teachers and in Sharia law is not accepting their marriage or baking a cake again. It is how they are supposed to be killed. A group of Muslims think that they are supposed to be killed by thrown off the highest building in the town. Others say that they are supposed to be stoned to death. If you want to look at any of the videos coming out of Muslim countries and also as well, ISIS and see how homosexuals has been treated, you can see things that shows how human beings can be horrific, and can do things to others in, in the most heinous ways possible. So when we are dealing with this topic of homosexuality, I think the LGBT communities need to be aware of what Islam has uh, for them and what Sharia has for them. You know, it, it breaks my heart when I look 
at the American community and the American culture right now and trying to cave and try to bend backwards as much as they can and try not to confront the problem and try to find any kind of a scapegoat, whatever they can, it, whether it is gun control or trying to find it is kind of madness or to claim that this is, has nothing to do with Islam whatsoever. Islam is the problem. Muslims are of all kinds of examples. Many of them are very peaceful people who are trying best to live their life. All of them are confronted by Sharia law and the teachings at mosques and so forth. So it is a calling that we need to start right now to help our Muslim friends to understand their own religion and also to help the American community as well to understand what are the enemy that is laying in the darkness, waiting for them to slaughter them and to kill them and to take over their nation and take over their country. We are confronted by Sharia law, which is a seditious uh, system in itself. We need to be aware about this. We need to start learning and learning the facts and the facts only and stop bending backwards. It is a very important thing to do. Thank you very much for listening to my moment on the Glazov gang. Please don't forget to support the Glazov gang. It is a very good um, broadcast that brings the truth to many. Thank you.